LPT. Professional house cleaning is cheaper than you think and can relieve stress in your relationship. Depending on your lifestyle, twice a month may be enough to keep your living space clean enough. This can offload chore burden as well as the resentment burden in many relationships. A cleaning session can run between $80 to $150 depending on the size of space. Completely worth it in the long term. That's groceries for a week or two. You must be well off if you think that isn't way out of most people's budget. It's dollar tilde 350 for us to have our four bedroom house cleaned. Two cleaners buy three hours each. We opted for every other month. Not as often as we like, but it's nice to have the super clean home for a few days before our kids mess everything up. $350 CAD after 13% sales tax. Works out to about $310 before tax which is tilde $225 USD. Another LPT. Smoke some ass while cleaning and put some nice music. Yep, we pay someone $100 every two weeks to do the laundry for the two of us. That's roughly $25 an hour, and the cleaning crew $120 bi-weekly. The woman who does our laundry is 89. I feel guilty but her kids claim that we're her entertainment, so Mildred keeps coming. And hash X200B. But you get rid of so much stress when the place is spotless and the clothes are clean. Not really, I just tell them what rooms to do main floor and top floor but not basement. Occasionally tell them to skip the guest room if no one has been in there since the last time they tidy as best we can before they come but can't always get because kids. So they tidy those things up. I just make sure, all of my important stuff is put away so they don't place it somewhere hard to find. There has been a case where I left something out and couldn't find it after they cleaned, but it turned up after a few minutes of searching. I pay $30 an hour for 4 hours twice a month. It has saved my sanity. The real LPT is always in the comments. Smoke a bowl, put on some jams, and clean. It's cathartic. Scrub that floor like it's tour cheating X's face. I've found out that adding that to basic activities in general make them way more doable. Just becomes a vibe and you kind of forget about the chore, at least for me. My groceries cost more, apparently. I take edibles and raise the clock. By the time they kick in, I'm having a good time cleaning already and get it all done in a breeze. I would love to do this but I have this horrible fear that the cleaning people are going to be disgusted by my cleanliness. It's not horrible but it seems so personal to have someone I don't know clean up after me. Especially my bathroom. Question, how do you guys tidy up? My main issue isn't cleaners but stuff put everywhere. Will the cleaners help me put away things? Do I need to give them instructions every time? It seems impossible to do. What they can do in those few hours is way better than what I can do. So we tidy up the night before and try to clear off surfaces that they are cleaning. Stacking things on the bed to clear the floor is fair game. Some will fold and put away laundry for you as well. The instructions that we gave were that we wanted the kitchen and bathrooms scrubbed, and the floors mopped and everything else wiped down, dusted. There are add-ons like baseboard cleaning and window cleaning that don't need to be done as frequently. When we first hired our housekeeper I put a note on my vinyl turntable because I didn't want them to mess with it in the fear they would mess up the stylus or cartridge somehow and she obliged. After a while I stop leaving the note and she knows not to mess with it now, so yeah you can definitely leave instructions for stuff you want left alone. House cleaners changed my life. I honestly don't consider it a luxury, it truly helps me to be a better spouse for my partner. You ever fold laundry, man? You ever fold laundry? And you can negotiate pricing based on how much of your home they clean. I clean my own office, guitars, computers, electronics etc. My wife cleaned hers but we hire a maid for bedroom, common rooms, bathrooms and it makes all the costs about $150 less per month to only have specific high traffic areas cleaned. Yes, after being frustrated for months about splitting chores with my husband we tried it. It was amazing, such a stress reliever. Hi as a house cleaner, I promise you 100% we are not here to judge you or your home, in fact most of us find the dirtier homes more satisfying and rewarding to clean. A lot of us actually enjoy this job and care about making people's lives easier. We've seen everything under the sun, including toys, boogers on walls, feces, 
everyone is human. Don't let that fear discourage you. This is highly dependent on where you live. Those cleaners are making good money albeit they probably have to clean super dirty houses. This is a great tip. I keep my house tidy, my cleaner keeps it clean. $140 for my 3 bedroom house. Usually around once per month. I live alone and sometimes I've thought about getting a house cleaner every few months. I'm not a slob, but I'm just too busy, stressed, and lack motivation to do anything more than basic laundry, dishes, and a little picking up when I'm not working or working on other projects around the house. A friend of mine said, it's cheaper than marriage counseling, lol. I jokingly advocate for house cleaners because it's cheaper than marriage counseling. House cleaning makes a great gift. If you know someone who is having a baby or has lost someone or a long hospital stay or something like that, taking the burden of house cleaning off can be huge. We got it as a present once and have since given it a couple times. It is such a relief for people who are going through something and way too tired to clean, especially if they're expected to entertain people in their home because of the situation. I can't even afford rent let alone maid service. Yep, after about three cleanings, our cleaners knew about our quirks, and they pretty much do everything trust them with our house when we aren't home. Four bed home, no kids, $180 every two weeks is a win for us. Add to this that if you have accumulated way too much stuff, professional organizers are really not that expensive, especially when you consider they are typically a one-time expense. They can be incredibly useful in helping you get rid of stuff you don't need, developing systems to keep the stuff you do keep organized, and coming up with good habits to avoid clutter and mess. They really are a force multiplier when it comes to keeping a clean house. LPT. Tired of being stressed? Spend more money. Poor people. Why didn't I think of that? Not really. They are probably self-employed. Take out 30% for taxes then supplies, unless you provide it, and transportation wear and tear. It's really not a lot of money. We went with a few specific jobs we wanted done. So every two weeks we have a lady come in and clean our two bathrooms, sweep and mop the kitchen, dining area, and dust anything she has time for. Cap it to two hours. It may not seem like much but that makes us keeping our house to a cleaner level so much easier. So our house is cleaner, and requires less time on our part. Keep in mind you're not going to be able to be cleaning every hour you're working. There's going to be plenty of driving around between houses, which also means extra wear on your car, potentially the need for a separate company vehicle. Plus that includes all the equipment you need to buy for cleaning, plus there's some amount of administration which might either be handled by the cleaner themselves if they're working independently, in which case that's time they're not making money, or there's a dedicated person doing the administrative stuff in which case they need to be paid. Plus there's marketing so you can get business. Plus you may not be able to keep your schedule full which can lead to varying pay. All in all, they definitely don't take home $30 per hour. Yeah this isn't a terrible way to do it either. I stopped paying for therapy to pay for house cleaners and it honestly did more for my mental IMO. Agreed. Ours is about $200 for two cleaners for two hours in a 1,200 square feet apartment in Los Angeles. We usually only splurge when we are about to host folks from out of town. Sometimes if they'll let you people will have us just clean bathrooms and floors or kitchen and bathrooms. Just a way to save and get the more grueling areas done. Take out taxes, pay for their own vehicle, insurance, and gas. Have zero benefits. Take on one-off jobs that use their own equipment from vacuums to towels to gloves. And take on personal risk. Customers can and do drop them immediately. They can and do request to be skipped support. What you're saying, I don't know many people would call a sudden half day's worth of income at a customer's whim, good it's honest work, and in no way is it undeserved. I feel you. I have a golden retriever that requires a lot of outside time so my spot is mostly clean but it's very messy. I thought about hiring a cleaner but I have a 450 square foot studio and I couldn't justify the expense. So I put myself on a cleaning schedule and nothing is clean all at once but everything is clean. I start with the kitchen the first week of the month, bathroom the second, then the living area the third weekend and any other things that come up during the fourth weekend. 
I feel like I am always cleaning my pad, but it's better than nothing, I guess.